Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, March 30th, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through using the divider or resizer widget in Object Studio. This one right here. So we're going to drag this into this UI and drop it between these two widgets. Over here on the left I've got a list box. Over here on the right I've got a text editor. What I'm going to do is take this and push it down so that it fits between the two and then resize it so that it's all the way down to the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this to show you something. So let's go ahead and double click on this and give it a name. We'll just call it divider1. We'll say OK on that. And let's save this as, oh, let's call this my UI 7 This seems to be the name pattern I'm going with, so let's just keep going with it. And we'll close that, close this down, and now we'll open this up. And funny thing happens. The divider moves, but the widgets don't. That's because we have to hook up an event. So let's go ahead and go back into the editor. And we'll select controller events. And from here what we want to do is we want to select the divider and over here we want to select our list box which is the widget over on the left. And What we're telling it is when the divider has an event and the event in question is going to be position changed by we want the list box to respond to that. Now what we need it to respond with is one of the inherited messages so we're going to check this box and we're going to scroll down towards R and we're going to find resize by. So there's resize by. We'll move that over. Now what we want to do is we want to select the multi-line entry field, which is our text editor widget, and we want to give this move and shrink by. So we'll scroll this back up and find that under the M's. So move and shrink by. It's right there. Move that over. And select OK on that. Now that that's done, we'll save this again. And we'll close this down, close that down. We'll open it up. And now, if we move this around, you'll see the widgets resize just the way we expect them to. So the divider resizer is pretty easy to use. You just have to remember to hook those two events up, and then any pair of widgets will work with them, whether you do it horizontally or vertically. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.